Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Jacob, and this is my channel. If you're not, how you doing? But today's video, I'm excited to do for because we are going to be talking about cleansing your stones. Now, this ritual that I am about to tell you, or, or the way that I clean my stones or cleanse them, however you want to say it, is actually from my stone book. Um, I have it on the page, so you know in case I forget something. Um, but, um, so when you are working with stones, um, like for instance, this stone here, which broke, I was so sad when I found it in my bag, it was broken. Um, I found while hiking on a trail with my family, um, it was just, you know, there. It was a water wash stone um, and I was really drawn to it. It actually had more pieces. It broke into a couple of pieces and I'd lost the other pieces, but it was like a good size rock. Like it was like, you know, say like, oh no, it just collapsed in my fingers. But it was like, you know, like I'd say like that big, maybe a little bit smaller, I don't know. Um, but it really, you know, it really caught my attention so I grabbed it and I have yet to cleanse it um, and for right now I d I was going to demonstrate it but it started snowing outside and I was like I'm not going outside to get a bowl of dirt so for this video I'm just going to tell you how to do it and then maybe in the future you know actually demonstrate it but it's not that hard of a ritual. It is fairly easy. There is no way to mess it up. Um, and it's basically like all you need is dirt from outside, water from the tap, a candle and incense. I mean, the only things you probably have to buy is a candle and an incense. You pay for water, but I mean, it's, you, you have it. But so how you would arrange it and you can do it in a stone altar if you have a stone altar um i don't have a stone altar um a lot of you know my friends say that you know i should have a stone altar which i did have one at one point in time and then i was like i don't want one anymore because you know i don't think i need a stone altar but if you have a stone altar or if you have an altar at all um you would place the earth first your instance it doesn't matter what kind it doesn't matter if it's the cone if it's a stick as long as it produces smoke you'll be fine um me typically like me personally i like to use dragon's blood this is my dragon's blood instance um i use dragon's blood because you um it is really good and i need to smell it i love the smell and it's really good for protection um and you know candle it doesn't matter what color or anything you just need a candle and your water you just need a bowl of water a bowl of dirt and a bowl of water enough so that you can cover the whole stone with dirt and water um but with all the rambling let me tell you how to do it so first you would start with your dirt you will get your stone and before you put it in the dirt you will say i purify you with earth you would put the stone in the dirt, cover it completely. It has to be completely covered. And while it's covered, leave it in there for a few minutes, however long you feel it should be in the dirt for. And visualize, which is the like biggest thing in magic. Visualization is the biggest thing. And I have a lot of you know problems with visualizing. But visualize the earth sucking out all the impurities of the stone all the negative energy just visualize it getting sucked out of the stone into the dirt around it then after it's been in there for however long you see fit sorry something's playing on the tv um you will take it out clean it off get all the dirt off try to get all the dust off if you can't it's fine um then you would move to the incense and you will pass it through the smoke of the incense nine times from right to left saying I purify you with air and after you do that nine times you know it's not that difficult just one two three four five six seven eight nine 
um, you will move on to fire. Now, your fire, I mean, it's a candle. Please don't burn yourselves. I've done it like twice. I've burnt myself like twice trying to clean, cleanse the stone. Um, the ritual that I follow says to hold the stone above the flame or in the flame if you feel comfortable enough having the stone in the flame, which I never do because I burn myself every time. Um, hold it in there for like a good few minutes or seconds, however long you see fit and visualize the flame engulfing the entire stone burning away all the negativity all the bad energy that you don't want in the stone all right and the last thing you will do for the ritual is your bowl jar of water you will place the stone in it make sure that it is fully submersed in the water none of it can be outside of the water and you'll leave it in there for however long you see fit and say I don't think when you pulled in the fire say I purify you I purify you by fire because I don't think I said that remember that see I I am so bad with this ritual I forget a lot of things in this ritual um, this is why it takes me forever to do it but you know after it's submerged in the water you will leave it in the water for as long as you see fit and say I purify you by water and after you think that the stone is cleansed, take it out of the water, dry it off with a cloth, and hold it in your receptive hand. If you feel that the stone is still holding on to some negative energy, then just repeat the process again until you feel like your stone is rid of all the negativity that it is carrying or all the energy that you don't want in the stone you know until you feel like the stone is right to use um i would recommend before any spell before any ritual that you cleanse your stones because it gets it makes it like it purifies it and gets rid of all the energy that is unneeded in the stone but that is it for today's video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section let me know what kind of you know videos you want to see i am down for whatever i don't have a life so you know give me something to do but th my phone just went off but that is it for today's video i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys